Bonjour, bonjour, fragrance lovers. My name is Clémence. I talk about fragrance. Welcome back. Today's video, we're gonna talk, we're gonna do an update on my favorite scent ever with a true English accent, trying to speak more with a British accent. It's not working. It's absolutely not working. Uh, you can't tell I'm not trying, okay? All right, let's, let's just start. video we're gonna do an update on my favorite scent ever one year ago uh, approximately I started my YouTube channel and I started by my top three favorite fragrance of course to introduce myself some people asked me okay do an update on this video what is your favorite scent at the moment so that's what I want to talk about today so some are the same some are different I've been talking about three scents in my previous video now I'm gonna say five because now I feel I, I can't really choose not that my taste changes I'm pretty loyal in my fragrance but I had some new ones coming in in the family and these are fragrances that I wear a lot and I consider as my signature scents as thing that defines me and thing that I will be using quite often start by the number five you know me, if you know the channel probably this scent are not going to be new for you it's scent that I often talk about because I just love them so much leave me a little comment to tell me what are your favorite scents ever I want to know I'm giving you my favorite I want to know your favorite too five of my favorite scent is probably a scent that you know I'm talking a lot about it but there we go here it is again it's called Cherzo by Myler Harris why do I like this fragrance so much it's because it's a rosewood fragrance so it gives a lot of oriental vibe every time I wear it I get a lot of compliments it's probably the biggest compliment getter I ever had so if you like roses and if you like wood you're gonna find a great balance in that punchy start with a lot of tangerine and slightly orangey scent at the beginning is very bright it dries down to something more powdery but you really smell that wood as a backbone it's not an animalic wood it's more like a flowery wood nicely blended but it gives a lot of darkness and sensuality and sexiness every time I wear it every time I get so much compliment but the most important to me is that I really deeply enjoy this fragrance because I don't know type of fragrance you enter in a room and everybody smells you and it's just stunning no I will carry on on repurchasing and repurchasing probably the sexiest of the fragrance I'm gonna show you tonight yes because it's the ninth for me number four fragrance is a fragrance I've talked about in the first top favorite scent and it's Terre d'Hermès by Hermès this is my casual chic fragrance meaning if I'm a bit more casual and if it's daytime I want to wear something that is classy but very refreshing but a bit punchy with a black pepper that is quite striking I would wear that and I think on men is always refined elegant but slightly more adventurous which I love so much one of the best designer ever created in the men's section is just great because you've got this freshness of orange but a very deep dark black pepper that is here and the vetiver if you like vetiver that earthy slightly smoky uh, grassy feeling you're gonna love this I mean for me Tardamas is a classic one of the best vetiver ever created in the Hermes style meaning classy chicness but still let back casual elegance but in a very simple way which I adore next one and you know me like I've been talking about it in my latest video I talk about it so much but and I had to had it in my list and this is a grand soir by Maison Francisca John a lot of my friends that know me now they reference that as the scent that defines me the most I think people recognize me by that smell it's an amber scent so very arrête 
Amber scent and that amber shines like a diamond ambery vanilla like anything a bit like benzoin like you know waxy incensey kind of feeling oriental vibe but in a very sexy way and still quite bright it's not cloying to me it's something like quite easy to wear I never wear this fragrance on a casual day no never I always wear it during the night when it's like Um, evening a bit more wintry but I did wear it in summer it's just like when I want to impress and I want something to leave a great sillage and impression I will go 100% for my little grand soir from Maison Francisca de Jean definitely my best scent and if if you're trying this house for the first time you have to try grand soir grand soir is just a two, and that's why it's changed a little bit again a scent that I recently discovered but I just can't live without I'm just obsessed by this scent it's a uh, creed it's called royal wood and this is really um, a good name for it really it smells extremely luxurious and extremely royal royal doesn't smell like pure opulence doesn't smell heavy and charged royal is delicacy elegance but with some darkness with some charisma this is really what this fragrance is a lot of charisma in a bottle it's a cedar scent more than a wood fragrance cedar smell like a you know nearly like a piney wood slightly lemony wood and smell like a pencil shaving um, fragrance It's got a very bright opening, a lot of spices and the spices are really present which give a bit of character and for me if it's on a man it smells like a very charismatic gentleman but on a lady oh my god it gives so much character I want to smell something Uh, unique I will go for my royal hood if you've seen my Creed videos you will see my first impression of the scent I tried it in front of the camera and I nearly cried because I was just like fragrance of part of my life and uh, some fragrance just give me a lot of emotion this fragrance gave me some emotion because there's a lot of contrast every time you smell it you smell a bit something different all the ingredients are very meticulously blended and you can really smell them separately showing a lot of quality in the ingredients it's not the massive projection you know i feel it's just like a charismatic but humble fragrance number one my number one favorite didn't change since last year it's my pure signature scent since many years now so if I want to feel confident if I want to feel like a real woman if I want to feel extremely elegant and I need a boost of confidence to it's usually a fragrance that I wear when I've got to speak in front of people it's not a fragrance that is sexy at all but it's really refined. It's number 22 from Chanel. As you can see, the juice is very dark because this fragrance at the beginning when you buy it, it's got dark color juice. They're quite light, but then uh, if you leave it outside or you know, you keep it for long, it started to be orange. And this is not bad because actually it's show off a bit the aldehyde. There's a lot of aldehyde in there. It smells like a sparkling bottle of champagne to me like it's is bubbly it's fizzy and the idea really show off after a while um, even at the beginning anyway but this fragrance is like a good one the more it mature the more it's great and confident on the skin a lot of tuberous a creamy tuberous but this fragrance is extremely vintage it smells like a, a fragrance from another time you have to remember that this fragrance was launched in 1922 so of course it smells um, very vintage but it's timeless it's another interpretation of number five uh, from Chanel a bit more mature of course but once you're wearing that and you know how to put of this fragrance it's just absolutely stunning on ladies absolutely stunning jasmine roses and tuberose and aldehydes are just 
giving a full projection it's something that is not shy it's really charismatic again but really like all the fragrances I have on my favorite scent are really charismatic this is this is my touch I like something to be opulent I like people to smell me obviously uh, but this is the scent that is my signature I call it my signature because um, I've been wearing, wearing number five as it was one of my favorite uh, my first fragrance ever and number 22 for me was just uh, an evolvement it was really like um, an upgrade I would say uh, on my fragrance journey after number five I get a 22 I took some age I took some years so I felt that I needed something a bit more ladylike and this is for me the best ladylike fragrance ever these are my favorite favorite scents please tell me again what are your favorite scents i really want to know and why maybe tell me why a little bit tell me a bit your story um i wanted to do that video also because it gave me an occasion to thank you all uh it's important to say i'm not saying that like you know just like this i just wanted to thank you a lot uh for being there and for being very supportive to me since i started the channel um Obviously, it's really great um, to see you comment all the time and um, to see you, I don't know, enjoying the content. I mean, it's nice. And um, I think the best thing um, in my youth journey was really um, the contact with the people. Being on YouTube uh, compared to Instagram, for example, is um, you get much more closer to people. You talk a lot more and you feel that I don't know you closer to people I met a lot of impressive and very knowledgeable um, fragrance people since I started this channel I've done collaboration with amazing people in the fragrance community I didn't have that before without the YouTube channel so I'm, I'm very grateful because it's been giving me a lot of opportunity a lot of anything like I mean fragrance has always been my passion I could do that in my room alone I don't mind but like the fact to have so many people that are sharing the same as things as me was really nice because I didn't really had anyone before to share all that you know you know things because it's quite special to love fragrance that much isn't it again thank you so much uh, thank you for subscribing thanks you for liking the video when it's up and thanks you for just watching it if you're just here to watch it and that's totally fine and uh, thank you for all the people that are um, sending me a little utip contribution uh, in the link uh, description below the most important really is to share about our passion i hope the next year in this youtube is going to be as exciting and as nice as um last year was for me and i hope you're gonna still enjoy and i hope you're gonna still be there uh because yeah it's great <laughs> i don't know what to say <laughs> so i will see you very soon bye now